everyone. Uh, welcome to uh, Aunt Beer TV. Uh, I'm your host, uh, Aunt Mekong, aka Beer Lover. Uh, we have a special guest today. It's Etienne Salpukas, right? The uh, famous uh, photographer. That's right. That travel around the globe taking picture of good beer. Good beer. So today we are tasting the last series, the last uh, uh, beer that could be making this uh, thousand bat from uh, Belt, and this is called the uh, Bat Ten Thousand. So this will be at the end of their series. So they will start something else. I don't know. It's just, uh, I think uh, there's rumor that they're gonna start something wow on the wow side, which uh, you know Bell doesn't do much. So they're gonna start doing something wow. So it's uh, from uh, looking at the label. Uh, not take a look at Steven. Not uh, not much uh, going on the label. Say the last of the batch series. Thanks to all the consumer that got us this far, this far, and then ah, you know, it's say about 9.2 percent, but it, it doesn't say what style it is. So we are going to find out. Let's see what style this is. It's uh, generic and it looks dangerous. It's uh oh, great label, huh? Nice, simple, and square bats 10,000. So. All right, go, so Steve. Go into the Brooklyn glass. So uh, here, you know, we go with the uh, we with the color, and then little uh, nose, and then little tongue treat. So that's how we go here. So uh, gotta give the guy a little bit too. This is a special batch. Certainly dark, barely minimized right through. Yeah. So here you go, guys. Grab yourself one. So there it is. Bells Bat 10,000. Uh, last year, Bat 9,000 was uh, this really thick chocolate stout that they add uh, maple syrup to. It was around 14%. That was, whew, that was heavy. But this is bat 10,000. Supposed to be, uh, uh, talked to one of Bell Drive and they told me that it's supposed to be like 100 different malt profile or, or ingredient and 60 different hops. So, I mean, all the malt and all the hops fit right in this glass. There it is. Bam. So, what do you think? Nice brownish or dark copper color, right? Yeah. What do you think? Copper almost FCM, purple. What do you think? Huh? Almost purple. Yeah? Purple? Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. you're, you're a photographer, so mm -hmm. I guess you might be right. Because you take with a lot of lightning. Alright, so let's keep the nose little treat, shall we? Guys, let's keep the nose little treat. Wow. Very malty. Malty. Yeah. Rich, syrupy, malty. Adds up to a barley wine to me. Really? Mm -hmm. You think it's a barley wine? Mm -hmm. Wow, mm -hmm. from just the smell, you think it's a, it's a yeah. barley wine. Well, to me, you know, it had, I had to smell it and then taste it to pick out the style of the beer. Already, you're I'm, good. Already I'm getting a butterscotch. Yeah? To me, um, it's got a little smokiness to it, like a, like a smoke malt that they put in here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then right behind, got a little dark fruit, like fig, plum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, can you... I'm getting that too. Yeah? yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Twist my arm, you'll get yeah. more. I do get a little hop too. That, that piney, resiny hops right at the end there. I mean, a hundred different, you know, malt, you know, in, in, in this bat, the six different, different hops. You, you gotta pick out a malt or a hop then. You can't be wrong. Oh, you know, I bet you they gotta be caramel malt here. Hey, you're right, you know, you'll be wrong, you know. <laughs> There's not many different malt out there. And then, Hmm, I bet you it's Cascade Hops here. You might be right, <laughs> you know, because it's in here. <laughs> and I had to jump the gun. Oh, I had sorry, to, I, sorry. Whoa. Okay. I had to jump the gun. I had to just taste it. Um, now, okay. I definitely got some of that smoky malt out of it. Really? Yeah, so you're dead on it. All right, here you go. Let's uh, give a little uh, tongue little treat. Cheers, yeah. Etienne. Guys, cheers. cheers. All right, let's give the tongue little treat. Mmm. Wow. 
Very smooth. For a barley wine, especially. It does take like a uh, it does take like a barley wine to me, yeah. but it's not as uh, sweet and uh, mm -hmm. you know, malt flavor. Not the, not, the not taste over sweet, than, yeah, not over sweet, rather than the nose. Yeah, very very malty, little smokiness up front, and it got a little dark fruit in the middle with like fig and um, plum, mm -hmm. and right at the end, that's that's when the hops come in. It's you know you can feel a little hoppy buttery. Uh, right at the right at the end, so warm buttery kind of feeling. It. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's nine point two percent, but you don't really feel you don't feel the alcohol at all, right? I mean, just smooth from front to end. You got smooth malt tea, and then right at the end, you got a little hop kick in. So it's awesome! Wow. Hmm. Now, by the taste, you can really age this beer. You yes. could because all it would do is just mellow it even more. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Uh, I, I'd probably say a year or two. I mean, this beer will be awesome. Yeah. So, I mean, you 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 know, you travel around the globe taking pictures of beer. I mean, wh where's your favorite place to go to, to, to drink beer, by the way? It's obviously uh, 6004 West Broad Street. No, so no, no. Destination no, no, no. Mekong. <laughs> no, like Denver or Oregon or Asheville. Pennsylvania. Uh, I like know? exploring Maine. Yeah, There's Maine. There's a bunch of breweries up there. Yeah. You mean like Every Allagash? Or, or? Allagash, been there, and yeah. up in uh, Portland as well. Really? For a little bit of wow. shipyard here. Oh, shipyard. Okay, so ship, shipyard's up there. That's awesome. And Geary's too. Yeah. Like now you nothing like this. Now you are also homebrew. Yes, right? I am. Now, what is your favorite style to brew? I like brewing IPAs. Ooh. Yeah, IPA. Like, uh, also one of my style, yeah. I, I like the fact that you can uh, do it at home, yeah. make something that, you know, kind no. of simulates that style. Is there so, like a favorite uh, favorite hop that you uh, prefer to, to brew with IPA? Uh, kind of the classic is uh, Cascade. Really? But I like ah. a lot of, uh, I like Nugget You as must well. have drink a lot of Sienna Nevada. I have in the past, <laughs> yes, I <laughs> no one, okay. Most Very certainly good. have. Yes, you know, it's a great aroma with low alpha acid, you know. You know, it's just great hop to get used to. Yeah. You can bitter with it, you can um, flavor with it, mm -hmm. and throw in yeah. some aroma too. Wow. It's versatile. Now, I mean, uh, have you ever brewed any style beer this much? Like a hundred different malt, you know, six different hops? Not beer? like this, but I am brewing a beer now called uh, Goat Scrotum Ale. And Goat it, Scrotum Ale? Yes, that's, that's true. <laughs> okay. Apparently, it's the uh, number one homebrew recipe out there, uh, yeah? put out by Papazian. Oh wow, Charlie it, Papazian, yeah. okay. And it has uh, from chocolate to molasses to mm. hot peppers, you mm. name it. Licorice root, with wow. a lot of ingredients, yep. kind of, but it all kind of comes together at the end. Wow, mm -hmm. mm, this beer will open up. I hope it's wow. half it really as good up. as this. Mm -hmm. Man, it's really smooth, silky up front. You got that you know, complex malt, right? Mm. And then right at the end, you know, that's when the hop kick and get a little bit, you know, a little hoppy, resiny, bitter right at the end. It's just, man, well made, well, well made. Fantastic. Wow. No, and nobody can talk about it better than you. No, it's just like, you know, if you rate this beer, mm -hmm. you know, that you've been tasting beer, where would this beer be? From uh, 1 to 10? No, 1 to 100. 1 to 100. Yes, 1 to 100. I tell you, this beer rate highly on me. It's so balanced. I mean, it's it's they use so many different malts, so many hops, but they achieve this balance. I mean, this is this is amazing. I, was I mean, like kind of cooking, right? Yeah, you know, yeah. You could, you could turn the stuff in, but sometimes you know it doesn't come out right, mm -hmm. right? But this come out right. I was gonna say 89, but you brought me up to 91. 91? That yeah. low? No, 91. Really? Yeah. You must not be an, uh, a Bali uh, wine fan. <laughs> no, I like this. <laughs> But I still, I think it's his, uh, now what's, what's 91's the, good score. What's the highest beer you ever scored? Mm. That's tough, huh? Probably like a 94, 95. Really? Yeah. This guy's a tough, tough critic. Mm -hmm. Wow. You know, I give a puff of beer a couple of times. You know, 97, 98, 99, you know, many times. When you get them in, yeah. let's try them. But this guy here, I have to probably have to say 96. Mm. Yeah. Big score. Big, big beer. Big score, yeah, for big beer. Mm -hmm. You know, the score where it counts that, you know, so many different malt, so many di different hops, like sit right in this glass and it's balanced out. And that's what amazes me. What is it, 60, 60 malts? No, how many? 100 different malts. 60 different hops. 
and it's it's this balance yeah you know i mean you know mm. not you know not one more stand out mm -hmm. mm -hmm. they all blend in well not one half that you know stand out they all you know rich in well with a maltiness that that's what amazes me about this about this game so 96 it's it's a great score for this one. really yeah you know, and, and for me 91 and still delish mm. what do you think guys Phenomenal. I, I, yeah. I'm a tough critic too, so I kind of gauge right around that 91, 92. Really? Yeah. You guys yeah. are tough. Yeah. yeah you wow. Got, you got to be like Roche for something to get that. Yeah. For us. And what do you think? I guess for a uh, Yeah. 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 Everything's yeah. a good score. Yeah. You guys are really tough critic. Mm. You know? You know, I, you, I, I guess you guys are not like beer level like I do. You know? Oh, I, no, I no. You see me still know, drinking. I, every beer that coming out. I'm a brewery, you know, with their heart and soul. I think that you still an A. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if you're in middle school or uh, elementary school, yes. What is it? A is what, 90 to 100? I think 93 <laughs> is about a, is a A. Yeah? A plus? It's A up. A up, okay. So there it is. Uh, Bell is batch 10,000. This is the last in their series. So they are done with this series. So next up for them, I guess, is the, something on the wild side. I don't know what it is, but we will, we will, uh, we will keep, uh, keep up to date. So um, what's the answer again, Steve? Beer is the answer. Whoa! How do you know? Well trained. <laughs> it is, folks. Beer is the answer. Cheers. <laughs>